Hey guys, and happy almost Christmas. So wanted to hop on this Friday evening to share with you my quick home tour for the holiday season. So um, obviously I'm gonna start like I did for my fall uh, Halloween slash home decor tour at my main focal point in my home, which is my mantle. So uh, right now I have um, a few things that it slowly grows over the years. Um, obviously my wreath and, uh, my garland, which I got, I think from Balsam Hill, I think two or three seasons ago and my bad, I didn't get it pre-lit, which I really wanted to. So then I added lights afterwards, uh, but also have our family stockings along with some reindeer and gnomes since everybody loves gnomes. So this is our our main focal point where we usually hang out for the evening. So just some nice, cute holiday uh, touches here and there. Um, I use pillow covers. I change them out every season. So uh, just cute little accents here. Um, then I'll get over to my main entertainment area where I just have, um, I think it was, um, what is it? All something sleep Christmas. Um, I forget, slumber, Santa slumber. I knew it would come to me. Uh, Santa slumber, um, warmer from, I think, last Christmas. Um, he has an element warmer. I don't use him. I just use him for decor. He's simply cute. I love him, and I'm so glad that I grabbed him. Um, just some touches here. Uh, the moose from the, I think it was November with box. I just put it there because my son keeps pulling it off the tree. Anybody who knows toddlers, he's 15 months. He pull, I'm surprised he hasn't pulled the tree down. Um, here we have the November warmer of the month from Sensi, obviously. And I used to put wax in it. doesn't have wax in it now. I've only used this occasionally. Um, my main warmers, I'll show you in a second with what I use for um, my main wax. So here's my main area with those warmers. I'm gonna quickly take you into my dining room, which don't mind the mess, uh, getting ready for Christmas Eve. Here is my main dining room. Um, I have stockings hanging everywhere. I've had these, um, I think I got them from Target almost a decade ago uh, when I lived by myself and they've kind of just stuck with me all through the years. Here is my bar cart. And over here on my bar cart, I have the December warmer of the month uh, from uh, last year. Uh, really nice warmer. I don't put wax in it until uh, I start leveraging this one and put away a lot of my Christmas decor. I feel like this one is really good for uh, staying out past Christmas uh, into the winter and maybe not even so much. I think it kind of can go into the springtime because it really is not holiday specific. And um, I do know on one of our former YouTube channels that I watched recently, uh, I think it was Bright, I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of the channel. Anyway, uh, she said this was a really great performer and I have used it once and I really need to try it now to see if it's a good performer, but um, I have this warmer in here uh, in my main dining room. So. And then up there, we have a little, on uh, my uh, main china corner, I have a little lantern. It's actually a candle warmer that I had to move because my son kept playing with it. Um, then some Christmas stuff hanging on the walls. Um, let me come around this way. Don't mind my sump pump. It's pouring here. Um, so here's my main... Um, my little candles going. I think I got those from Plow and Hearth. I put that together myself um, with Amazon and some tool. Then I have lovely candle if you haven't tried it. It is tea and cookies from Kringle Candle. Really nice scent. Really light, doesn't throw much, but um, nice pretty candle. And then I have my main entryway when you come in, my table and my bench. Super cute thing from Hallmark that I just had to have. Um, then I have, I collect the Department 56 Villages. I have um, the North Pole series. I only have three out. I have 20, um, but I just picked out my three favorite, which is uh, Pip and Pops with the bubble light, old fashioned light, the uh, bake shop from, um, I can't remember, the Easy Bake Oven. And then uh, usually the conveyor belt moves, but my daughter broke it. The gum, yummy gum drop factory. So these are my main, main three 
along with uh, check them out, Department 56. It's just an amazing collector's piece. And then we have this December warmer of the month, which does perform really well um, and is really pretty. Again, I think it could be kept out. It's not really specific to uh, holiday or Christmas time. So really nice warmer. Still can get it 10% off before the month ends. So really nice. I'm debating changing the light maybe to like red in Valentine's Day. I don't know. I haven't thought yet, but that's the December warmer of the month. And then let's go back in. Today was cookie baking day. We have an annual tradition, so don't mind the cookies over there. Uh, then I have my main, uh, there's limited edition from I think 2020 when I first joined. I'm so glad I joined and I got the fireplace. Um, I love it. It's such a pretty elegant piece. Not a good performer because it is an element warmer, but nonetheless a really nice piece. Um, I put all my wax in the trim the tree warmer. I think I have St. Nickerdoodle going throughout the house today since we baked. Um, and that's my main uh, decor here on my uh, kitchen counter. And then without making you guys nauseous, um, there's my cookies that we made today. Um, this uh, is a beautiful thing. I got it from QVC this year. It's for homework candles. I have, I think, baked ice cookies, or I forget what's in here right now. Ice sugar cookies. I have not warmed it yet. I was going to do that today, and we never turned it on because we just got super busy making tons of cookies. So those tins are full with tons, um, and we did sugar cookies last so I still have to put those away. And then my Christmas tree. Um, and then I'll take you over to my buffet where I have my tear tray. Don't mind my child's balloon. Um, totally love, I get all my decor for my tear trays from Backyard Dahlia. They are based out, it's a family owned uh, company in Washington State. They do beautiful work. Every piece that I get for my tear tray is from them. Um, this one was a tear tray from last season, I think. You can probably still get it now, and I just assemble it, um, and I change it out every holiday season with their decor. They're just great. They make everything home um, home with the wood and the paint. They just do great, great work. Um, so check them out. I can post their information below. And then my favorite one is the Holiday Barn that I think it was November of 2020 when I joined. I think it sold out. I just use it as a focal point and then now I've been putting wax in it. Um, and then I have this one from last year. I don't, I originally had it on my counter, but now I just uh, put it to continue with my, uh, my buffet over here. So um, that's my main area over there by the tree. So this is where we really have our Christmas morning. And then I'm not gonna go upstairs because there's really nothing fun up there, but we have another tree up on our landing um, on our, our upper level. That was my family's tree that has been in the family for 30 years. It's not pre-lit. You have to put in each of the, um, let me just take you up there. You have to put in each of the branches and open them up uh, every year. And it's just a really pretty tree. It means a lot to us and the family, uh, or at least in my side of the family for, for 30 years. Um, so thank you so much for joining me on my home tour tonight. I'm wishing everyone a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, and thank you so much for joining my channel, subscribing to my channel, and uh, keeping up with all things Scentsy and uh, vendor wax and wax related. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great holiday season, and I'll talk to you and catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.